Yep, and, and we have ignition and liftoff of an ILS proton launch vehicle with the Amazonas 5 satellite on board. Now, about 10 minutes after liftoff, the launch vehicle performs a roll maneuver to align the launch vehicle pitch axis with the planned northwesterly, northeasterly launch azimuth. Now, the vehicle will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q, now, which is when the aerodynamic force on the vehicle has peaked. For Proton, the max Q occurs about 62 seconds after liftoff at a velocity of Mach 1.6. Visible condensation that appears to be a, a steam stream of smoke can be observed if conditions are favorable. We're about 50 seconds from liftoff, so we might be able to see that at this point in about five seconds. There you go. So we're at T plus one minute. Beautiful shot there of the uh, six of stage one engines. Creating a halo effect with the light on the, on the lens of the camera. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle ascends over the Cosodrome in a northeasterly direction into a suborbital trajectory along the route which provides a parking orbit inclination of 51.6 degrees. Plus a little over 90 seconds from launch. Uh, everything's nominal at this point. See the stars in the background, beautiful shot there. Now we're coming up on the stage, first stage separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. In order to maintain a constant level of acceleration, the second stage engines actually ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. On a clear day, launch site observers may be able to see a halo effect as the second stage engines ignite. And we have a confirmation of ignition of the second stage and a good separation from the first stage. You can see stage one falling, falling behind there as the second stage continues to fire, moving the uh, proton upper stages to, and the spacecraft into uh, farther down range. We have confirmation of the planned level of thrust on all four second stage engines. Now the second stage will operate for about three minutes and 26 seconds. Yes, I'm going to